What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video we have some information about a brand new exploit that has been released for iOS 15.0.1 and older. So can this be used for a jailbreak? How big of a security risk it is? And what is this all about? Because it has been very popular in the past couple of hours. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the information on your device and so on. And of course do backups, transfer files with drag and drop. Definitely check it out. It's a great iPhone management software. So a couple of hours ago Leonardo here tagged me and asked me what can you say about his work possible jailbreak on iOS 15 and if we go ahead and here it's apparently a tweet from Jonathan Scott a security researcher who said a couple of days ago quote today October 9th 2021 at 10 30 p.m CST I will be performing a live RCE or remote code execution on iPhone 11 Pro running 15.0.1 which incidentally is the latest version available right now and they said in here full device takeover full file system data dump I will data wipe the phone after I steal all the info. F your bug bounty, the people deserve to know. And they posted this caption in here, remote code execution, whatever, on iPhone 11 Pro, which I think is A13, so definitely great. Well, they did post their research in here on GitHub. There is even a video available. And it says in here, iOS 15.0.1 RCE version 1. So naturally, a lot of people ask me, what is this all about? How important this is for jailbreak purposes? And of course, how big of a security risk it is? Because they said in here, full device take over and full file system dump and data wipe remotely and stuff like that which are pretty big claims and if true it would make the device pretty darn unsafe now looking over the repo in here it says that you need a couple of things in order to make this work like lib i mobile device websocket d and time limit and whatever so yeah basically you would airdrop some files some website related files to the device and then you will be able to extract data from the device without even unlocking the phone this works without inputting the passcode hence why they made a huge deal about it. Now how important is this security wise? Well to be brutally honest this does have a huge caveat and that is the fact that you have to be connected to a known trusted host for example your computer and you have to have tapped the trust button on the device otherwise this would not work. So is this remote code execution? Yeah you are indeed exfiltrating files you are indeed running code remotely through the connection but you do have to run that code from a trusted device for example your personal computer or or your laptop and so on, a stranger wouldn't just be able to get your phone, plug it in their computer, pop this one up and extract all the data on your device because their computer wouldn't be trusted in the first place and if they want to trust it they need to input the passcode. Hence why many people in the jailbreak community and in the security community pretty much mocked this guy for what they released saying that it's not exactly what they claim. And to be brutally honest, I'm standing with them. It is indeed not what they promise. While it's important and it can be exploited if your partner wants to get into your device or stuff like that, this is possible. But on a full scale, on you know unknown computers, if a stranger steals your phone and wants to dump the content, they wouldn't be able to do that with this. It's pretty limited by the fact that you have to be on a host that is indeed trusted. Now for jailbreak purposes, this doesn't seem to be any good for jailbreak purposes, at least not in my opinion. Opinion. You can drop files to the device, you can extract data, but this seems to be more useful for malware on iOS than jailbreaking. It's not a kernel exploit, it's not a sandbox escape or anything like that. It's just basically transferring files and running various commands without the device being unlocked, which while bad, and of course pretty bad for security reasons, it's still done from a host that is already trusted, so it's not exactly that big of a deal, at least not outside of a workplace or something. Many people called it a simple iOS feature, not an RCE, not remote code execution, because really it's not remote code execution if you are connected to a host that is already trusted, you're just running commands from a computer that is trusted. So yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath for that, it couldn't be used for jailbreaking, at least not in the current state, it's a neat thing, it does show a possible vulnerability for data exfiltration, but it does have major caveats and I do not believe is a major security risk or useful for jailbreak purposes. I hope this has clarified everything because this topic is currently very popular in the jailbreak community and many security researchers are retweeting and discussing and you know arguing over that so I hope this clarifies everything. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.